Okay, so a couple of days back, I covered this Oxygenos 11.8.12 update for the OnePlus 8T, and now after three days, well, let me share my experience with you guys, so that you can decide whether to go with this one or not, as it did bring a lot of fixes to the table. But that should sum up to a better real-world usage, right? Well, let's find out in this short and to the point video. By the way, a tap on that subscribe button will be really helpful to the channel. It's free. Try it out. Now coming to the good aspects of this update, and first of all, we have the latest March 21 security patch, which is not so latest now, but that's okay, I guess. Not a big deal, but as a flagship, it should get monthly updates, right? Do you guys feel the same? Let me know in the comment section down below. After that, we now have the Wideband L1 support back on most of the devices, as many of you confirmed the same. And just in case you don't see it on the Netflix application, well, go to the Google Play Store, tap on that uninstall button, update the APK once again, and sign in. And you will get Wideband L1 support on your Netflix application in no time. So I hope that will resolve this issue for all of you. Now coming to the battery aspect. Well, first of all, about that charging time. And that has been around 45 minutes for me, but I do observe some extra heat up while charging after this update. Though it's nothing major, but I thought to let you know about it. And that battery life has also been good for the most part as such, and I get usual 6 to 7 hours of screen on time or more if I stream videos for most of the time. And that's quite alright for a 120Hz display. Next, I still have some minor complaints like no fully dark mode toggle and I don't know how hard it is to implement that. The performance in general has been fine too, though sometimes the applications get killed in the background after a while. But overall the system performs really nicely and even the increased benchmark scores scream that on paper. And similar is the experience with gaming and there was no extra heat up as such or frame drops with popular titles, which is great. The long screenshots are working fine now, but I do see some notification delay with popular messaging applications like Telegram. And it did happen twice in 3 days. So let me know in the comment section if it happens for you as well. The bubble notification part is also working fine now for most of the applications like Google Messages and Signal. Though it is still buggy with Telegram and I'm quite sure Telegram application is at fault in here. In the camera part, well the version of the camera application has been bumped up to 5.8.23 and definitely there are some changes as per the changelog. The lag issue has been taken care of in the 4K 60fps playback just in case you were facing it. But the overall image quality is somewhat similar in other scenarios too and even the front camera still overexposes the images sometimes as it used to. And here are the samples on your screen. So in short, well, you should update to this version as it does fix many of those annoying issues that we had with the last update. Those random glitches and especially that wide one L1 issue. Well, it does brings a better user experience to the now old flagship OnePlus 8T. So that's it. Do tap on that like button if you found it helpful and subscribe for more awesome content like this one. And I'll see you soon.